Daylight Donut Flour Company was founded in 1954 by Tommy Day. Uh, Tommy Day worked on a formula for the, his donut mixes and the final product was determined to be very light in texture. And so the two names were put together, Day and Light, and thus became Daylight Donuts. Daylight Donuts is still a privately held company. It's owned by my wife and I. It's supported by an outstanding group of men and women that take care of the Daylight customers, make sure the products are manufactured properly, and take care of the business of Daylight Donuts. Uh, we refer to these group of people as the Dream Team, and I'm fortunate to be part of that Dream Team. We are located in Tulsa, Oklahoma, and currently there's a little over 900 locations where you can buy Daylight Donuts. Uh, Daylight started internationally in the late 80s and uh, are currently expanding into other countries. We do a lot of things like a franchise company does. Uh, we help with market studies. Someone that wants to go into the business, we will uh, help them look at locations. We will design locations for them. Uh, we provide all of the equipment that they need to open a store. We provide all of the ingredients they need to open the store. We have a complete training program, both with our donuts and with our coffee, and we have on ongoing technical support if they want to learn new items or if they want to expand their business. Currently, there's about 140 different uh, items that we teach in the donut stores, and uh, as, as a store, matures in a market and they want to add more products, we can, we can help them with that also. We are unlike a franchise company in the fact that we do not charge a franchise fee nor do we take a percent of their daily sales. Uh, our shop owners are our customers, they are our friends, basically they are our families. We have shop owners that have been with us for 54 years, basically the first shop owner that ever opened a Daylight Donut store is still in business. He has his sons involved in with him now. We have shop owners that have been with us 52, 53 years. So basically, these people are like our family. And uh, when, uh, when, when we work with them, uh, it, it's kind of, kind of like homecoming for us. Uh, we are a growing company. We are continuing to open new stores and we're looking for licensees to operate these stores. Basically, these operators work under a license from Daylight Donuts, and as long as they're using our products, then they're allowed to use our federally protected trademark name, Daylight Donuts, and they're entitled to a protected territory and the ongoing support of our staff. In our stores, they are all provided with a matched set of new equipment. Uh, this equipment is uh, specific equipment for a specialized task, and that is making donuts. With our manual systems, once we get an operator trained, they can run about 50 dozen an hour off of our manual systems. If they want the automated systems, they can, we can teach them to run up to 125 dozen an hour with the automated systems. Uh, the products itself is very, uh, very simple to use. Uh, everything that we do in a kitchen is either timed, temped, or weighed. So if we can teach someone to read a thermometer, set a scale, and set a timer, we can teach them to make the products. Our products are, are all matched uh, with, from, from the shortenings to the donut mixes to the fruit fillings that go inside. The vendors that we buy our raw goods from to manufacture our mixes uh, give us quality product on a consistent basis. Some of our vendors we've been having, we've been doing business with for over 40 years. Uh, some of our products are, are, are a little bit more expensive, uh, but we want quality products to go into our donuts and we will not, uh, we will not accept anything less from our vendors. We're continually looking for new products for our stores uh, to help them to build a business and to, to be very profitable. In the mid-90s, Daylight began its quest for the perfect complement to Daylight Donuts. Up until that time, Daylight didn't have its own coffee. We felt from our research that 
adding coffee, a good quality coffee, to a donut shop can increase the revenue from anywhere from 40 to 50 percent. Unfortunately, when we looked out in the U.S., in the marketplace there, we found no coffees that we felt were suitable to meet our, our requirements, a, a good complement to our, to our donuts. We decided we should go to the coffee producing parts of the world. We went to Central America and in Costa Rica. We found a plantation there that had what we felt was the perfect bean for daylight coffee. Unfortunately for us at that time, the, the, the plantation didn't have any coffee available to sell us. Uh, he was already had his contracts booked up for several years. And generally speaking, when a, a plantation has contracts with someone, they're for life. And we were rather unhappy with that, but we felt like we should wait. And after three years, we received a call that a, an individual had failed to renew their contract. And we had the opportunity to pick that up, and we did. So we began importing that coffee uh, in, late, in the late 90s. Uh, into St. Louis where our roaster is located. Uh, very few people realize that uh, St. Louis at one time was the coffee roasting capital of the world. Uh, of course a title that Seattle enjoys today. From this coffee we make our three different types of drip coffee. A dark roast, a light roast, and a decaf. For the espresso coffee we make an Italian roast that we worked on very hard to, to make it perfect, to complement the different drinks that you can make uh, using an espresso machine. The coffee business is a very profitable business. And with the introduction of Daylight Coffee, our licensees have seen an increase in their sales of up to 50%. <music> The process for making daylight donuts starts with scaling, temping, and timing. All, our, all a licensee has to do is to add water and yeast to the yeast raised product. This starts at the scaling station where the products are weighed and tempered. From there they go to the mixer where they're mixed together. Uh, through the fermentation process it will set in the bowl for a length of time. After that time expires then it goes to the dough table where it is hand formed and then either cooked on the manual system or in the automated system. From that point it's either glazed or iced or filled and then served fresh to the customers. In making an espresso based beverage like a cappuccino one first grinds the coffee, and then you'll tamp the coffee with a tamper. And this is an important process. We always use a scale to ensure that, you use, that we apply the correct amount of pressure. After that, you will put the portafilter onto the espresso machine and draw the shot of espresso for that cappuccino. You will, at the same time that you're doing this, you'll be frothing your milk and frothing your milk is an extremely important process as well. It must be done to a certain temperature to ensure that it's the correct temperature for the customer, but not too hot to where it scalds the milk. So after the milk has been frothed, you pour the shot of espresso into the cup, and whichever flavor the customer may want, French vanilla, chocolate, whatever they may request, goes in next. And then milk, and with a cappuccino, it's just a small amount of milk, and the rest is foam. And we usually top this with some sprinkles, usually some chocolate sprinkles, or any other type of sprinkle that the customer might request. The Daylight Donut concept of license versus franchise enables uh, many people who have a dream of owning their own business and being in control of their life to fulfill the dream. With the Daylight Concept, we do not charge franchise fees. We do not take percents of daily sales. In some cases, we're able to get a store open uh, for less than they would actually pay for a, uh, for a, for a franchise agreement 
for some other company. Uh, the cost of the product is very much less than any other company that could be. The profit margin on a donut is very, very high when using the daylight ingredients. The secret of the product is in the formula of the mix. Probably the secret ingredient is the potato. Again, the daylight donut experience is very addictive. Uh, you have one today, you want one tomorrow, you want two the next day. It's a, it's a good product and it's uh, very, 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 very effective.